it's another guayaki yerba mate um, sparkling this time uh, cranberry pomegranate yeah um, this probably should be good I mean uh, that probably should be good Wow um, I like all the guayaki brand yerba mate um, when it become uh, when it uh, when it's the weekend of this week uh, I'm going to review um, a couple other brands of your mate um, uh, that we've kind of been sitting on because uh, I just forgot that they were in the back of the refrigerator um, but we got them in North Carolina uh, and then uh, yeah I just forgot they were in the refrigerator um, but my mom picked them out so we're going to have it when she can have it because they all have uh, caffeine or two or two of three of the of, of them have um, caffeine so usually she gets home around six she prefers not to have caffeine after six o'clock so uh, but yeah we'll have that review um, or dual review I guess because it's gonna be me and my mom um, but anyways on to this shake it up a little bit very lightly shake it actually does say that it says it lightly because it is sparkling um, so it doesn't explode but you want it to mix cranberry pomegranate I expect this is gonna be really really good um, and instead of blueforia or um, revel berry which is like mixed berries um, and then blueforia was kind of um, mostly blueberry but with some other blue uh, with some other berries in it this is just cranberry pomegranate right there um i already smell it i already smell the cranberry i can't really smell the pomegranate i might just be smelling the the sparkling uh water in there that's kind of like a harsh because pomegranate has that harsh kind of like bitterness taste to it um i like it um it's also very sweet but uh cranberry i might just be it might just be the sparkling with uh the cranberry anyways mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. You definitely get both. You get the pomegranate first, and then you get the cranberry uh, after. Um, yeah, the sweetness of the of the pomegranate you taste in the beginning, nice burst of that, and then you get the cranberry after, like kind of throughout, but like y you taste. The pomegranate first um but it's really good it's really refreshing i would say because you get the um the sparkling water this is deeply chilled uh i should have said that before i always drink these very very chilled in the refrigerator for at least 40 minutes to an hour um or just you know i just leave them in there um until i have them um I, sorry, I, I always twiddle with these, but, uh, it, it, I'm, I've had a mustache for a while now, but I'm still getting used to it. I'm also, I used to shave these two parts that are growing in, and now I'm trying to connect them, because that's usually what people do. Um, so I've just been shaving here to get that line there, and then in here. Um to kind of connect my mustache with my beard. Um, and then this is taking a while. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's required, but I, I sort of like it, so whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, this is really refreshing. Sorry, little sidebar. Um, yeah, it's really refreshing um, and really cold. Um, on a really hot day, this would be a great thing to have um you get some nice flavors and you get the sparkling 
uh, effervescence or whatever, the, you know, the sparkling, you know, tickles your tongue and all that other stuff. And, um, and it's organic. It's, um, I just love Guayaki brand. Um, I'm not quite sure about the sugar, but I don't drink these enough to like warrant, oh, I'm, you know, drinking too much sugary drinks and, you know, I'm gaining weight. I'm actually been get, like losing weight like bi-weekly or not bi-weekly, bi-monthly. So every two weeks, three weeks, I lose a couple pounds, um, which is great. But uh, my point was, is that I'm not drinking these enough to actually gain weight on them, which is great. Much more health conscious these days, which is really great for me. Anyways, if you want this, buy it. Very refreshing, very, uh, I would say, cool on a hot day. Today was kind of hot. Um, uh, it's nighttime now, but it was kind of hot. I probably should have done the, the review in at lunch, but eh, whatever. Uh, buy it if you can get it.